guys. It's me, Maria. So, uh, I thought, you know, after the Gymshark stuff, I'd do a what's in my bag. It's a hefty bag. And Chloe's saying hi, and the cat's right there, too, so, I mean, this is gonna be something. <sighs> Chloe? Uh, excuse me, miss? Yes? Okay. Mm. There you go. Anyways. Um, I've really liked this bag so far. It's been pretty great. I think my favorite part about it is the shoe tunnel. The shoe tunnel has probably been my favorite part because I love the fact that my shoes can go in a whole separate compartment and I don't have to have them with all my clothes and my other stuff. And I have a separate bag for like my clothes that I'm gonna change into after the gym and stuff, but it's nice that my clean gym clothes can stay separate from my shoes. Um, but here we go. So here's the shoe tunnel right here, which like I said, I think is one of my favorite things. Um, I've heard some people complain that they can't fit their shoes in here, but I've had no problem. Um, I don't know if it's my shoe size or what, but I haven't had a problem. Um, it also has, I just kind of found this like a couple days ago, but you have this little Velcro spot right here. It's kind of hard to open though. I'm sure it's going to get easier with time though. But, uh, I really like it. I think it'll be useful for some stuff down the line. I think maybe when I can restock from like water flavor packets things, I can kind of pop them in there and they'll probably be like a lot easier accessible than putting them in the zipper part or anything like that. You have a little nice side compartment right here, which is great. I typically put my energy drink in here. Um, I don't have an energy drink in here right now because I'm not going anytime soon. I like I'm cold typically, but sometimes I'll, I'll have one popped in here ready to go so that way I never forget. Um, it just kind of depends, really. Sometimes I'll have a warm one in there. It kind of just depends. But, the innards. I got two headphones in here. I know, I know. I'm. It's a little overkill, maybe. It's fine, though. They're both Bose. Um, these are the Bose Sports. I don't think they exist anymore. I'm pretty sure they're discontinued. Um, but I love them. Um, the only downside to these suckers is that sometimes they're a pain to connect to my phone. Other than that, I've loved them. I've had them for a year. Um, you know, they, they worked great. Um, I typically, I've been, I just got the other set of Bose headphones, but I've been wearing these for a year. And I think really the only reason why I want to have two pairs of headphones now is in case one of them's dead or depending on what workout I'm kind of gearing for for the day. And so it's more of like, a running or a hit kind of workout, something that's high tends to me. I'm me moving very, very quick and fast. Um, compared to the Bose Ultras, these suckers are more for like the days where I'm going to be heavy lifting, really. Um, that's really it. Um, and walking. But other than that, you know, I've loved them. They've been beautiful. Um, I've really enjoyed them. I, it took me a while to pull the trigger on these because I've heard a lot of back and forth on them. I heard that some people love them. I heard some people say that it wasn't worth it, that the price tag on them, things like that. But I absolutely love mine. Um, I'm definitely a Bose headphone kind of person. Um, I, I was really torn between these and dishing out for the Apple ones, but I couldn't wrap my head around spending like $500 on headphones. Um, these weren't that crazy. They were still really pricey, but I also get a pretty good discount at my job. So I kind of like, uh, you know, I was like, you know what, you know what? Uh, I can make it work. A hoodie. I wear a hoodie for when I'm cold at the gym because I typically am cold at the very beginning. Um, when I first walk into the gym, and then I take it off because I get hot. That's explanation for the hoodie. Uh, other than that, I will have some shorts in here, typically. A couple pair of gym shorts. Uh, gym Shark or Adidas, mostly. That's what I typically have. Um, I'll have a couple pair of gym shorts because a lot of times, if I'm going to the gym after work, which happens about twice a week or so, um, I'm going straight from work to the gym, so I'll have a couple shorts in there just to 
BRE ready. Um, cause I typically just have my sports bra underneath my work clothes and you know, nine out of 10 times that's all I'm wearing is the shorts and the sports bra. So I'm pretty set. Um, resistance fans. I've had these suckers for a long time and they're staying with me. I lost the medium one somewhere. I think it might be at my parents' house, but these suckers are great. Um, I love using these in warm, warm, warm ups for lower body typically. Um, but you can also just do a whole workout with the resistance bands. There's a lot you can do with them. Um, I think resistance bands are really good for people who are working out at home only too. Um, if you don't have a lot of access to things, then these are super simple, super easy to store, and they're great. The water bottle. Important, because hydration, you know? You, you gotta hydrate. Um, you're too cool and perform, recover, repeat, water. <sighs> Theragun, Theragun Mini. Uh, just like the water bottle said, perform, recover, repeat. <clears throat> Recovery is important. Um, I think that's something I'm gonna try to focus on a lot more in 2024 is the recovery aspect of things. Cause I think sometimes I'm a very go, go, go kind of person and I don't take time to chill out and kind of tone down um so i think that's something i need to really focus on next year um as the year gets closer and actually take time to work on the recovery part because even though i have this sucker in my gym bag sometimes i still don't use it and i really hate myself for it because i really should be using this more often i really should be stretching more often and actually doing what i preach and <laughs> i need to work on that a lot more and um yeah but, uh, random stuff that I'll have in here is, like, hair ties. And, uh, yeah. But, that's really all I have in my gym bag. It's nothing crazy or anything. Um, one thing I do need to get, though, is a new barbell pad. Because the one I currently have is going to go to the gym bag that I talked about before. That my old OG gym bag that's going to be going now to my parents' place. Um, that barbell pad is going to stay in there too, and it's going to go to my parents as well. Um, so whenever I go there and I end up going to the gym, I don't have to worry about it as much or carry a lot of extra stuff. Um, but yeah, short little video here. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know what else, but if you guys have more ideas of what to post and stuff like that, I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe and I uh, got a lot of crazy stuff coming my way or your way all the way but uh yeah bye guys I didn't appreciate that Chloe <laughs>